So I'm at the Lexus Canada 35th anniversary event where we get to drive a whole bunch of old and new cars. And guess what I'm driving right now? This is a 1991 first gen Lexus LS400. One of the most important and iconic cars in the history of Lexus because this is what put Lexus on the map. And obviously this is a new standard back in the day when Europeans really ruled the world. But this one really changed the face of auto industry with the beautiful LS400. And right beside it is the current gen LS right there. So when you compare the current gen LS to the old gen, first gen LS, I'm curious if the quality has changed or improved because they say uh, they don't make cars like they used to. And I kind of agree with that. This LS feels like a tank. But let's take a look at the quality of the exterior because that's what I love to do. So first is this 1991 Lexus LS400, beautifully crafted. Of course, it's probably one of the best vehicles in the world in terms of quality. And let's see if the gap showed that. Yes, it is 2.9 millimeter there and three millimeter there. What about between the fender and the front door? Also three millimeter there, three millimeter, exactly the same. <laughs> And three millimeter. When was the last time I've measured gaps of a car where all three gaps are exactly the same three millimeters and everything lines up. You can tell these edges line up here. It lines up over here. <laughs> it lines up over here. Back in 1990s, that would have been very difficult to do to try to line up everything. And the quality of paint, even though it's faded, still looks really good. I'm just trying to walk around and see if I can find some defects. And I can't, everything looks perfect. Even the trunk here is three millimeters. So that's three, 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 three millimeters. Absolutely amazing because most new models are not that consistent. So let's take a look at this current gen LS to see if it's any better. They're both built in Japan. Uh, and let's see if the manufacturing quality might be any different between that and this. So you can tell right away, the gap's quite a bit wider. This is actually 3.8 millimeter there. This is 3.5, 3.5 millimeter there, 3. Point maybe 6 millimeter there, and back down to 3.4 millimeters. So very consistent, still world class because it's anything less than four millimeters is really good. But what about the trunk though here? It's four millimeters. So you can tell what's really shocking is that the 1991 Lexus LS400 that's more than 30 years old has better overall quality in terms of body, fit and finish, gaps and measurement alignment than a current gen Lexus LS, which is already one of the best cars that's being built in the world. You can tell the paint quality is excellent and things do line up. So there's no question this is still world class, but what's so astonishing is the fact that this old, old Lexus LS actually beat the new LS in terms of body fit, body alignment. And even though the paint job might actually be better on this one, obviously, than this one, because this paint has been around for a long time, it's faded. I'm still shocked in terms of how well made this first gen LS400 is. Uh, these kind of plastic components, like headlights and so forth, look very outdated, obviously, compared to the new one. But once again, if you look at the gaps, how everything lines up, the quality of the plastic injection molding. It's almost impossible to do that back in 1990s, but they did it. They did it because this LS400 was a transformation for Lexus. It's the first of its kind, and it's a vehicle that put Lexus on the world map, and they did it with the precision, with the accuracy, and the kind of quality that you've never seen anywhere else. This probably was and still is one of the best built cars in the world and it is perhaps one of the most reliable cars still. So I'm astonished at how good the LS400 is compared to this one here. Let's just take a quick look at the inside and see uh, if I notice anything unusual and whether or not I'm going to be impressed with the interior quality as well. So here I'm inside the 1991 Lexus LS400. Uh, actually beautiful design by yesterday's standard everything is laid out nicely you got the nakamichi sound system that's what they had before the mark levinson all the buttons everything looks beautiful you know the feel of it just amazing feels like one of those really expensive stereo system all the buttons still works 
real wood down here. This is all real wood, layer by hand. It's all handcrafted. Real wood here as well. I believe this is a walnut. And then uh, you have a real leather here, full leather here as well. This blue color is actually quite, quite amazing and impressive because it fits with the exterior blue color really well. Simple dash, but they use new type of technology that makes the needle feel like it's floating. Not sure if you can tell that in this video. And at the time, in 1991, that was a big deal. And of course, the stereo system, which I can't play right now on this YouTube because you'll cause a problem with the copyright, is shockingly good. The quality of the audio is just amazing. The seats are comfortable. It's very roomy inside because it was designed to be driven as a chauffeur car. So it's very important that the back seats are super, super uh, roomy and comfortable. Um, but also take a look at this plastic injection. So this is leather here, but this is actually plastic molding or plastic injection. But what they did, what they designed the, uh, the creases so that it looks like a real leather. So at first glance, you might believe this is leather as well. And that carries all the way to the door. Also these creases or um, kind of wrinkles are designed to look like a real leather. And look at this line here. I'm gonna point it out with my tool here. This lines up perfectly here onto the dash. It's very difficult to get this right which is why most manufacturers do not design it for this line to end here and start again because it's always misaligned. So most manufacturers don't even have this line, but if they do, this line will drop in a curve like this so that uh, it kind of deceives the eye in case things don't line up. But here we are, perfect alignment between this side and this side. And again, all the plastic injection look like high-end material. And that, the wrinkles also carry on to the um, steering here. So again, it's designed to look like a leather. All the stitching still intact. Nothing cracking or breaking. Uh, it's a low mileage car anyway. I believe this is like near showroom condition in terms of the overall quality. But I'm just amazed that back in 1991, more than 30 years ago, they were able to design a car like this with a quality that's unheard of because it's actually better than the current Gen LS, at least in terms of exterior quality, but even the interior quality, if you look at the fit and finish and everything, top notch, right? You cannot get this level of standard these days because all the materials look cheap. Look, they didn't use glossy black back in those days, but this kind of matte black makes it look like a high-end audio system. Why don't they do that now? There's just too much glossy black these days. Uh, but also in terms of driving, it's beautiful to drive. The V8 is just kind of purse when you step on it. Not a lot of power, but it's still very comfortable to drive and everything works. The sh transmission shifting, the braking, the engine, suspension system, everything feels like it's made to give you that perfect silky feel. It really does. Again, 1991, many decades ago, and yet they set the standard for best luxury car in the world. And here we are today, many decades later, I'm driving it and it still feels like a standard of the world. So amazing, amazing accomplishment by Lexus. Nowadays, they have many, many impressive models. Uh, 35 years later, they're still sort of the king of the road in terms of quality and reliability, and also just the overall customer satisfaction. People are very happy owning Lexus, which includes me because I own so many Lexus models. So happy anniversary to Lexus. It's their 35th anniversary here in Canada. It's amazing. They've been around for so long. I wish Lexus Canada many more years of success and happiness and blessing as well. So I hope that they will continue to set standard for the world. I'm really happy to be part of this journey and also to be a Lexus owner for many different vehicles over the years. And currently I have the Lexus GX 550 Overtrail Plus and Lexus NX 450H Plus, which is a plug-in hybrid model of the NX. And I still have my 2004 Lexus SC430, which is my all-time favorite car. And therefore, I'm, of course, a very happy Lexus customer as well. Anyhow, if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up, make some comments. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe? Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.